Hello, Donald. Thanks for sending your swing to the Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards. I'm going to be uh, analyzing your swing today. Um, your camera's a little off-angled. I'd like to see a little bit more straight on here, but you know we can get the gist of what's going on in your swing. Uh, grip doesn't look too, too bad. Don't know what kind of handicap player you are. And again, if I could see a little bit better angle of the, of the uh, with the cameras, I could tell if your body's in the right position. But the one thing that kind of glares out at me is when you swing the club back, it's what's going on in your initial move in the downswing. And what I see here, if you watch the transition of your club from backswing position to there, which I think you do a pretty nice job of getting the body turned back and keeping this fairly away from your head, so I like all that. But now I want you to watch the shaft of the golf club. You're going to see how it kind of gets really vertical right there. There's a little big push right there. All right, so let's look at that again. When you look at the club move, before anything else moves, your hands, more particularly your right hand, kind of cast that or just pushes that shaft out. Now, what that's going to do is result in is some shots that are hit fat, shots that are hit thin, and a lack of power. So if those things are happening in your golf game, the place to look at is where your grip pressure is intensifying. And right now, I would see a little bit more right hand pressure than I would like coming down right here. What we should be seeing in our golfing, and I'm just going to show you a, a, an example here, one of the models I use quite a bit when I teach is, this is Brad Faxon. Now when he swings to the top, you're going to see everything kind of work together and this angle that he has here is the same angle as backswing, same angle as downswing. Your angle gets to a certain point and once it gets to that point you actually increase the angle right here. It's very vertical. Now if we take a look at your swing from this point forward I see good things in this golf swing Donald. You strike it and you work right on through. Now your knees kind of buckle a little bit but that doesn't concern me too a whole heck of a lot. One thing I'd ask you too is what happens to your shots when the ball's not teed up? If you hit them a little thin I want you to look right here at this left elbow. I want you to watch how it kind of works more around towards the bush. See how it kind of just works more around you? There's not really a whole lot of extension going on in your swing. So when you see that pull in of your arm, you're going to get a lot of pull shots to the left, a lot of top shots, a lot of thin sounding shots. And again, my impression would be with what I see at the top of your swing, how that shaft pushes out, that is a result why your left arm pulls in. So there's always a cause and effect. So the arm's being pulled in because at the top of your backswing coming down, you push the shaft out. So what I'd like to see you work on, Donald, is once again, when you get to the top of your swing, don't increase the pressure with your right arm or right hand. Let the arms, if you will, drop. From there, let's try and get some more extension going on in your arms. And again, I'm going to pop up the video of Brad, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. And here's his extension after contact. Yes, there's a bend to his arm, but his arms are extending and your arms are kind of pulling in right around your body. And I hope you can certainly see the difference there of what's going on. And I think what will happen is the more your arms extend, the more your arms release the club properly, your body goes through a little bit better, and you're going to pick up a little bit more distance. Work on that. If you can, work on it for a couple weeks. Put the camera exactly in line with your body so I can see it. If you have a camera where you can change the shutter speed, change it down to sport mode, and I'll be able to see the club and the hands a little bit better through the strike. But Donald, good luck to you, and thanks for swinging, sending your swing into the uh, Golf Digest Challenge.